In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Node Browser in Elements for Mac OS. Now, I've got a sample project open here that we're going to work with, and I'm currently on the Pages tab, and this shows me all the pages in my projects, but we want to look at the nodes, and that is the last tab on the end here. So if I click this, it goes to the Node Browser. Now, this shows me all the nodes within my page. And nodes, you can think of them as like elements on the page because everything here is represented as a node. If I click on an image, it highlights the image in here. And if I click on the typography block, you can see it selects a typography block. And again, I can click on a button and the button is highlighted. We can find the divider and the divider is highlighted in here. So this is a really nice way to navigate your website and find out how things are put together. Like I can select the container here and I can see in this container I have some flex items and some typography items. Now, if we're looking for something on the page, I can search in here. So I could search for button. Oops, I could search for button. And I can find all the buttons on my page just like that. So it's really easy to search there. Same, I can see I've only got one grid on the page. So really nice way to find items. Now, you can use the Node Browser to rearrange your items just like you can in the editor. Um, if I wanted this text to appear above the image, I would just drag it above the image like that. But we can also do the same in the Node Browser. So I can take this image and I can drag it there and it appears above the typography. But we can also drag between the Node Browser and the editor and between the editor and the Node Browser. So I can select the image here in my um, in my node browser and I can drag it into the page so I can place it down there and the same um, with the editor I can take something from the editor and drop it into the node browser wherever I like so this is really powerful and a really nice way to work if you need to get that precision on where you want to drop items so really good now there's a few other um, things to know about the Node Browser. You can right click on items and you can rename them. So um, if I right click, say rename, and we'll call this heading text. Now, if you don't want that to stick around, you can right click and say clear custom name. So you can revert it to its original name of the component. We also have duplicate, which simply duplicates the item. And we also have uh, remove, which deletes the item. Now, um, another thing you may want to do, uh, if you have a container selected, we might want to take the design of this container, but I don't want the child items. I don't want the image and typography in it. So what we can do, instead of just using duplicate, we can say duplicate without content. And that simply duplicates that top level item and removes all the children from it. So I can decide what to put in it, but it's kept all the other settings on that container, which is perfect. There's a few other options in here, such as convert to global and unlinking an item from a global and also selecting similar items. So as with my buttons, I can say select similar items and it will look through the entire tree and select all the buttons. And this is great if I want to change options here. If I wanted to change the borders on all my buttons on the page, I could do that um, by just changing these settings. Now I have them all selected. Um, and have a, of course, you can convert items to global. Now, globals is a big subject. They're really powerful stuff, and it's worth watching the other videos in the manual on how globals work. But this is where you can convert um, collections of items into globals and obviously unlink them as well. Now, before I wrap up this tutorial, there's one more thing um, to know in here, which is kind of a hidden feature. The title at the top here shows you which page you're on and we're on home. And if I right click on this, we can jump to another page. So this is really quick because it allows you to jump directly to another page rather than having to view the pages, clicking back here and then back to here. Um, it's a nice little shortcut just to jump to those pages. So that's the Node Browser. Hope you found this tutorial useful. If you've got any more questions, check the manual and do visit the forum to ask on there. All right, thanks for watching this one and I will see you in the next. Cheers, bye.